I read my YouTube comments sometimes, you know, and I've always been, I've always been annoyed that, you know, because I've heard, like, sort of radical, clueless environmentalists say things like, the planet would be better off without people on it, which is something that, like, you just cannot say that. that if you say that and listen to yourself, you should, like, go to a monastery for, like, three years and never say a word and have a shower every ten minutes until you've learned your lesson <laughs> properly. You know, you can't utter a more genocidal phrase than that, you know. And, of course, you always do it in, 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 a, in a display of your care for the world. It's like, well, if we just didn't have any people, it's like, well, we'll just line them all up and shoot them with machine guns. You know, it's, it's really sickening. It's appalling. It, and there's a hatred for humanity that's at the bottom of it. And, I mean, you can kind of understand why, because we're messy and, you know, we don't clean up after ourselves. And, you know, we're like raping the rainforests and that sort of thing. But I do have some sympathy for people because, you know, we're, we're, we're hell on Mother Nature, but she certainly returns the favor. So, <laughs> and that's a good thing to remember. You know, a lot of what we're doing is just bloody well trying to exist with a relative minimum of pain. And we're doing our best to get... You know, to get as good at doing that as fast as we can. And that's not an easy thing. There are lots of us. And, like, life is bloody complicated. And the other thing that happens, too, is, again, if you scratch just beneath the surface of people, and this is something that's always, you know, to me has been a kind of miracle, is if you talk to someone, they're out doing their job, and maybe they're doing a good job at it, like some emergency room nurse, you know. It's, God, there's a job for you. Or maybe they work in palliative care. You know, and you, you talk to them, and you find out they've got, like, four as I said before, serious problems in their family, and maybe they're diabetic to boot, and yet they haul themselves out of bed in the morning and go take care of dying people. It's like, good God, you, people deserve a bit of respect for struggling forward and, and not always trying to make the planet a worse place when they're beset on all sides constantly by, you know, an unending series of tragedy. You'd think we could have a little bit of sympathy for ourselves as a consequence of that. It's like we're not all, like rapacious, greedy monsters who are bent on just devouring everything in our path, you know? It's a little bit more complicated than that. So